first we're going to pick the template woodworking inches. Okay, then we draw a rectangle any size and then we type in the dimensions. In this case, 6 inches and 8 inches. Now we zoom into our box so we can see it, and it, the zoom follows the orbit tool. Now I'm going to create the walls by using the offset tool to offset the outside one half inch and then delete the inside. I'm getting the select tool to select the inside so I can delete it. Now I get the push pull tool so I can pull up the walls three and a half inches. Now I get the select tool and I select the inside edges using the shift key to add a plus. So I select all the inside edges and now I'm going to offset them by one quarter inch. And now you can see I've created a rabbit on the top. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. I select the inner edges with the select tool and the shift key to select each of the four edges and then I use the offset to offset it one quarter inch and then I'm going to use the push pull tool to push it down one quarter inch. Now I'm going to select the entire assembly by triple clicking, click, 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 and then I'm going to use the paint bucket tool color it a wood color in the materials menu. Lastly, I'm making the whole box size a component uh, which locks the geometry. Now we're going to draw the top assembly of the box. This is a drop-in cover. So I draw a rectangle, pull it up one half inch, and then I'm going to now I'm going to add a round over to the top cover. I select the two-point arc and I draw an arc on one corner of the cover. I'm going to use the follow me tool. I select the whole top surface and then I get the follow me tool and the follow me tool will run that round over all the way around the cover. Now I'm going to make the top component. I triple click to select it. I use the paint bucket to color it a slightly different color and then I'm going to make it a component with the make component tool. going to draw a simple handle. Again, I'm drawing a rectangle. I'm going to push it up. I'm going to triple click to select it, color it, and make that a component.
I'm combining the top handle with the upper top and making that a group so they will move together as one assembly. Now I'm going to make the bottom cover. It's just a simple quarter inch plywood cover. So I draw a rectangle, I pull it up a quarter inch, I color it, and make it a component. Lastly, I use the move tool to put the covers into their correct position. Lastly, I use the dimension tool to add some dimensions to the box so people can tell how big it actually is. Thanks for watching.